friends, welcome to the D-Link CCTV tutorials. Today we shall see the general setup of new D-Link DVR series which is DVR F2104M2. All the different DVR models of the new series follow the same general setup configuration. The basic setup of the DVR has to be done by completing the setup wizard on DVR. So as soon as your DVR boots up, you will be prompted to enable the setup wizard. At the first step of the wizard, it will allow you to do a system login. The default password here is blank. Click OK to modify admin password. Here you have to keep administrator password blank and enable the modify admin password. Create a new password and confirm the same. You'll have to enter your valid email ID to reset the forgot password. In the next step, we have the date and time settings where you can change these date and time settings as desired. The next step has recording schedule configuration wherein you can see the normal recording has been enabled. You can also modify the schedule and timing of the recording from here. Also you can choose between normal motion detection or alarm based recording. Yes, you can also copy the same settings to the rest of the camera. In the HDD Manage step, we get to see the HDD information which was installed in DVR. This DVR supports a max of 8 TB SATA hard drive. In case your hard drive is new, please format before using it. Next is the network setup. This is the LAN status page where we get the IP address status of the DVR, generally when we have the DHCP enabled. We currently haven't connected any LAN, hence we will show you how to get the DVR connected on a network wirelessly. Finally, we have the cloud status page. Since we haven't connected the DVR on network, it's displaying connection failed. Now we shall see how to connect the DVR to wireless network using DWA131 wireless adapter. We will connect the DWA131 in the front USB port of the DVR. To access the wireless settings, we have to open the main menu and IP address submenu, and we have to open the Wi-Fi option from the top. Here we have to enable the wireless and search the network. Select your desired wireless network and enter the password for it. Then click the DHCP option and click on apply. Yes, we have the wireless connected now. Now let us check the P2P status and here we can see that the P2P status is connected. For motion detection based recording, let's open the main menu and go to motion detection. Here we have to select the area for motion. In our case we have marked select all and click on enable. We can also copy the same setting to other cameras using the copy to button. Now we configure the schedule for motion detection. By default it's selected for 24 hours. To enable the recording we need to set an action. Here we select record channel option and save the settings. Next we go to the main menu to change the recording schedule from general to motion detection only so that the DVR can only record on motion. Now let's see how to play back the recordings and take backup. Let's open the main menu and go to playback option. On the right hand side you can select the cameras and the dates. To play the recording simply click on the play button. A blue mark timeline will indicate the available recording. Now let's see how to take a backup on a pen drive as our video is being played. You have to click on the cut button twice once to select the start point and then to select the end point of the backup to be taken. Next we click on file management icon. Now we need to select the file and click on the backup button. Here you can see that the DVR has detected the pen drive. You can also change the file format between DAV and AVI and click on the start button for the backup video download.
The Dealing Smart CCTV app is a powerful tool to monitor your DVR online over the internet. The app is available on Android and iOS platform. Let's open the app and go through the basic setup. We will log into the app with our pre-configured username and password. You can also do local login for direct app access. To add new DVR, click on the top left corner and open devices. Now click on add symbol and click on manual adding. In the add device, keep the register mode as P2P, add the device name and then scan for the connected cloud ID from DVR. After this, enter the DVR admin username and password and click on save at the top. Click on the start live feed on mobile app or internet. Yes, we can access the live feed from DVR now. This app also allows us to access the playback recordings. For this, go to the main menu and open remote playback. You can select the device icon on the right of the screen to select the added device. Once you confirm the cameras to playback, it will load the recordings for you.